Everyone here? Right. So good morning. We're glad you're all here. You took your seats. Welcome to the pinning ceremony for the class of 2021. What a year it's been. Let's start by acknowledging the support of your parents and family. So you're not going to believe this, but I'm going to say it. Access your cell phones. Take them out immediately. And honor your parents and their support by including them the best way that we can right now during these times. Take a selfie, tell them you're at the pinning ceremony, and share this moment with them. Definitely. <laughs> And then look up at me so I know we've done this, yes. So I'm going to have you all stand, and we're going to start with an opening prayer. I'm going to invite to the stage Father Jude D'Angelo, our university chaplain, to lead us in a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <laughs> Heavenly Father, look down upon your people gathered here and all who are joining our company virtually. Unite us in the spirit of joy and gladness as we celebrate this pinning ceremony. As these women and men are officially welcomed into the nursing profession, we are grateful for the many hours they have already dedicated to the care of the sick. Throughout these past 15 months, many of them have assisted in the care of people who have contracted the virus. We thank you for the, the generous spirit of these new nurses who will soon stand in the breach, even as this pandemic wanes. When the days of nursing the sick grow long and the nights grow longer, Give them the strength and presence of mind to attend to each of their patients with devotion and love. Bless these healers with a firm resolve to do all in their power to bring hope and strength to those entrusted to their care. As we continue this ceremony, may we be grateful for the support of parents, family members, faculty, and staff who have shared their joy when they pass the Hesse's and lifted them up when they were overwhelmed by anatomy. May all of us treasure this moment of accomplishment and this pledge of service to others. Grant these blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Jude. Please be seating. Good morning, my name is Bethany Sislowski. I'm the Associate Dean of the Undergraduate Program at Catholic University. It's my pleasure to be your host for this morning's celebration. On behalf of the Dean, Dr. Patricia McMullen, and the faculty and staff of the Conway School of Nursing at the Catholic University of America, I welcome all of you, parents, spouses, children, family, and friends, virtually and in this room, to the pinning ceremony for the BSN class of 2021. I'm honored to introduce members of the university administration, nursing school faculty, and special guests who are participating in today's pinning ceremony. Mr. John Garvey, the president of Catholic University. Mrs. Garvey, who's over here, welcome. Provost Aaron Dominguez, who's on the stage. Father Jude D'Angelo, who just opened with our prayer, the Dean, Pat McMullen, and of course me, Bethany Sislowski, Dr. Sandra Barayan, clinical assistant professor in the CSUN, who's over here to my, your right, my left, Professor Jane Taylor, clinical instructor extraordinaire, she's in the audience, and Dr. David Want, clinical assistant professor. It's now my pleasure to introduce and welcome to the podium the president of Catholic University, Mr. John Garvey. Thank you. Thank you, Bethany. Uh, good morning and congratulations to all of you. Let me start with a word of gratitude to your teachers, Dean McMullen and the faculty of the nursing school. They have trained you and uh, to serve your patients well, so be sure to thank them. <clears throat> In a few days, we'll celebrate the commencement with the rest of the university at FedEx Field. 
There, we will acknowledge your academic accomplishments and give you a degree certifying the completion of your studies. The pin you have this morning has a different significance. It marks your entrance into the nursing community, an army that's now three million strong. It signifies that you're ready to pass from student to nurse, and for this, we're very proud of you all. The tradition of pinning nurses is, I have to say, unique among the professions. I, I wish I'd gotten one when I graduated from law school, but I didn't. There's nothing like that for lawyers or for architects or social workers. The distinction, I think, makes a lot of sense because nursing is a unique profession. Um, Gallup does polling every year on the level of trust uh, in all the professions and which is the most trusted. And last year, nurses had a whopping 89% trust level. Uh, a record, I think. Medical doctors were in second place, a distant uh, second at 77%. <clears throat> Lawyers, I'm proud to say, uh, ranked above car salespeople and members of Congress, but they were much farther down the list. <clears throat> you might think that nurses did well because of the profession's efforts to combat the coronavirus, but they've been in first place among the professions every year since 1999. Well, actually, there was one exception in 2001, firefighters won the, in the wake of 9-11. But otherwise, every year, it's nurses who are the most trusted profession. And one reason for this, I think, is that we all spend a lot of time with nurses. I mean, we, when we go to the hospital or need care. There was a study in 2018 in the American Journal of Medicine that found that in an intensive care unit, patients reported that all of, the, of all the contact they had with medical professionals, more than 86% of it was with nurses. So they put motion detectors on the doctors and nurses and other medical staff to test this, and they found that nurses spend, on average, twice as much time with patients as doctors did, who devoted more effort to reviewing documents and checking records. Pope Francis hit on another reason a few years ago when he spoke to the Federation of Italian Nursing Professionals. Nurses, he said, are professionals in human relationships. Here's what he said. Being in contact with physicians and family members, in addition to the sick, you become in hospitals, in healthcare facilities, and in homes the crossroads of a thousand relationships which require attention, competence, and compassion. And it's precisely in this synthesis of technical abilities and human sensitivity that the value of your work, he said, is fully revealed. Taking care of people, the Pope observed, requires listening and discernment. People don't always find a way to articulate what's bothering them. They may be afraid to admit that something is wrong. It's up to you to pay attention to each case. All of this, the Pope said, makes your profession a veritable mission and makes you experts in humanity. As nurses, you'll be in contact with patient patients each day, and the experience might help you to gain greater sensitivity to the needs of others, or it could make you in time jaded and insensitive. You see that happening too, I hope you'll choose the first path, serving human beings uh, for years and not just following protocols. You will, in time, become experts in your field, mastering the science and the technology that accompanies medical progress. I hope you will also recognize the limits of science and put your patients and people first. So I congratulate you all on your fine work at Catholic University, and I wish you the very best of luck. We'll miss you. So uh, be sure to come back and visit us. By that time, we'll have the masks off and we can smile to one another. God bless you all and congratulations. Thank you, President Garvey. At this time, I'd like to welcome Provost Dominguez to the podium to offer his congratulations. Good morning and congratulations, class of 2021 Conway School of Nursing. Um, I wanna just take this brief opportunity to uh, congratulate each and every one of you as you've completed this most rigorous program of study um, and have shown this mastery of content in the arts, the sciences, philosophy, theology, and complex nursing concepts. As students with this chosen vocation of nursing, you represent excellence excellence in service to God, to our country, and to the world. You worked really hard to get to this point, and for this we're both very proud of you, 
and we're counting on you to continue this beautiful and honorable profession. Today, Father Jude will be blessing your pins. This pin will forever identify you as a Conway School of Nursing graduate. Your pin has a long history, tracing its roots to the inception of our nursing program here at Catholic University in 1935. You are now part of that history, and you can wear your Conway School of Nursing pin with pride. Congratulations, nurses. Thank you, Provost Dominguez. I would now like to ask Dean McMullen to come to the podium and add her congratulations and explain the history and legacy of the nursing school pin. Thank you. Well, as someone that's vertically challenged, I'm going to <laughs> do a stool or you're just gonna see the part in my hair. I don't think that we could adequately let you leave unless we ended with a PowerPoint. <laughs> So I did my homework and I've got Blackboard and so I just wanna convey a couple of messages. First slide. First of all, we are so proud of you. You know, you returned to campus or area housing on January 4th and despite the fact that you were in quarantine for two weeks, you underwent COVID testing, you participated in clinical readiness so that we made sure that you were safe and also were safe to patients. And we congratulate you on that accomplishment. Next slide. We know you're facing the NCLEX RN, and we're confident that you're going to be successful. If we look at our NCLEX pass rates over the last few years, you'll notice that we do exceptionally well. Nationally, the first time NCLEX pass rate is 80%, and you can see that we have never been below 98%. And that is the hallmark of your willingness to put many, many hours into study. And we congratulate you on that. We know that there are among you many that have already gotten jobs, but there may be some that have not determined where they want to work yet. Know that employers are clamoring to hire you. I get hundreds of emails every month from healthcare facilities throughout the country wanting Conway School of Nursing graduates. We're not any graduate, we are the Conway School of Nursing graduates. And this will give you a sampling of just in the last two years where our graduates have gone and sought to practice their craft. Know that you're now among the Conway Strong. These are some pictures here of our graduates from the last several years. You can see they work throughout the country. I had to, uh, Scholastica, who is captioned in this picture, was one of our 2017 Conway graduates. She was a Conway scholar, and now she's in our nurse practitioner program. So I'm hoping that I see lots of you come back to us for graduate studies. I think you have all the skills that will make you successful in an advanced practice role, and I hope you're gonna return. I had to put the last uh, picture up of Megan Scott and Kim Ugardi. Those two are graduates of our 2019 class and they work in the ICU at Yale University Medical Center with my son. So um, you can run, but you can't hide. So we're gonna find you no matter where you are. And uh, this is uh, Kim and Megan uh, at Yale. A brief word about our pin. As President, uh, as Provost Dominguez said, and also President Garvey ref referenced, we have a long history as a school of nursing. Our nursing school pin uh, was a outshoot of Providence Hospital's nursing school pin. So when we first started as a school of nursing, we were a school of nursing education at Catholic University. We were the only females virtually on campus in a program. And Providence soon began to realize that the baccalaureate education was really fundamental to our profession. And so they transferred their school of nursing uh, here to Catholic and we started awarding baccalaureate degrees in nursing. You'll see that um, there's a crest on there. Our crest uh, originated from the Knights of Hospitaller uh, back in the crusade days. In the crusade days, uh, people we got pins or coins to recognize exemplary service to a community. 
and ours uh, resonated from that group that is now known as the Knights of Malta. Um, it's amazing what you've accomplished. When we add up the numbers, you've completed over 7,920 academic credits. You've logged in almost 43,000 hours of in-person and simulated clinical learning experiences, and you have been willing to put yourself in harm's way in service to others by returning to that clinical area and providing care that no one is capable of providing. You're outstanding. Last but not least, I want to close by telling you this is the rendering for our new building. It will be constructed in just a few short years, and we will be sure to leave a light on in hopes that you're going to rec return to Catholic, either as a student, but at least to visit us. And congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Dean McMullen. It's now my honor to introduce the student guest speaker of the class of 2021. She's been honored by her classmates to represent them today in giving the student address, somebody I've worked quite a bit with this semester and all year. Please welcome Ms. Catherine Torilla. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations to my fellow classmates for completing the first major step towards entering one of the world's most trusted professions. I think it's safe to say that our BSN journey has been anything but ordinary and dull. Thanks to coronavirus, the world's most unwelcome guest, apart from a challenging curriculum, we have had to overcome some additional challenges thanks to an unpredictable pandemic. With this, we have had to quickly learn the nursing qualities of being resilient and adaptable. We couldn't have successfully graduated without the help of our own hard work and dedication, and the support from our family, friends, and most importantly, our hardworking faculty and professors. On behalf of my classmates and I, I want to thank each and every one of the faculty members and professors at the Conway School of Nursing all of you have done so much to help us students succeed during a challenging time in history. Even though we as students did not see the behind the scenes work, we truly appreciate how much time, effort, consideration that has been put into giving us a quality education. I know personally that I have had a great nursing school experience and I genuinely hope that everyone here did as well. Nursing school has been demanding physically and mentally, but I'm proud of everyone for getting through it. People outside of CUA often ask if we have a Greek life, and I always say nursing school doesn't need a sorority, we're our own sorority. Other than it being predominantly girls, with the exception of our two wonderful male classmates, there's drama, lots of drama, inside jokes, closeness, and support. More importantly though, just like sorority members, we make so many unforgettable memories together, as well as lifelong friends. Now, I want everyone to think about what is the main role of a nurse. Overall, nurses care for patients and ensure that they are safe, healthy, and content. We have all heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs sometime in our life, and its concepts are vital towards patient care. However, the concepts should not just be applied to our future patients, but also to ourselves. To the future nurses here, you cannot expect to give quality and safe patient care if you do not tend to hear basic physiological needs as well as your emotional, social, and spiritual needs. So in other words, nobody wants to have a hangry nurse. That is a real thing. Always keep in mind that each patient that you encounter deserves the best version of you to help them. Do your patients a favor and make taking care of yourself a priority. A happy and well cared for patient starts with a happy and well cared for nurse. So earlier I talked about how we students are about to enter the most trusted profession in the world. I don't know about all of you, but that thought has always intimidated me a little bit. Do you know what helps me to overcome this intimidation? I ponder on all the positive qualities and actions that are associated with nurses. 
I think about how nurses strive to make a significant impact on a person's life every day. I think about how nurses are described as considerate, caring, and understanding. I think about how nurses are resilient, knowledgeable, and hardworking. If these are traits that people are soon to be saying about you, wouldn't you consider that a true accomplishment and honor in your life? I know I would. That's why I can't wait to become a nurse. Nursing's both a rewarding and challenging profession. Nurses always want to change things for the better, but sometimes it's not that simple. There will be things we cannot change, and it will be hard for us to grasp that concept. I want to end my time with a well-known prayer that I believe is very appropriate to our future profession. I urge my fellow classmates to say this prayer each time before they go, before they go to work and during a challenging situation. The prayer is known as the serenity prayer, and it goes like this. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking as he did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make things right. If I surrender to his will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life, and supremely happy with him forever and ever and in the next. Amen. Congratulations again to the Catholic University's Conway School of Nursing, class of 2021. It's been a true blessing to be part of such a wonderful class. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. The Conway School of Nursing has a long-standing tradition of blessing our nursing school pins. I now invite University Chaplain Father Jude D'Angelo to bless the nursing school pins for our graduating class of 2021. Let's, let us pray. <clears throat> May the pin you wear be your daily reminder of all you have learned and all you have yet to learn in the art of healing. Let this pin be for your patients a reassuring sign that you have the knowledge and skills needed to nurse them to health. May this pin be for your colleagues a symbol of your competence and professional skills. For you, let this pin be your daily commitment to carry on the healing ministry of Jesus Christ, the divine physician. And I bless these pins, and I bless you who wear them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now on behalf of Dean McMullen, Dr. Sandra O'Brien will call your name to walk across the stage in acknowledgement of your many accomplishments. Dr. Sandra O'Brien. I'll do my best to pronounce your name correctly. Not everybody gave me a guide, so I have to kind of wing it on a few. Madeline Rose Agajanian. I don't think I see Ben Alexander. Samantha and Fusco. Anna Paula Benatul. Jennifer Ann Berklin. Catherine Jacqueline Brennan. Mary Catherine Bulo. I think Jessica Burgos isn't here. Emily Grace Burns.
Quinlan D. Burns. Emily Rose Bino. Peyton Elizabeth Cannon. Victoria Michelle Carlini. Christine Diasis Castellano. Brittany Challingsworth. <clears throat> Manali Brienne Chapin. Allison Letty Chin. Catherine R. Chirilla. Christina Rose Cochran. Grace Elizabeth Ann Conley. Pamela Adriana Copley. Michelle Deborah Dowd. Madeline Decker. Taylor DeMello. Alyssa Marie Diaz. Maureen Dooney. Madeline Facina. Sophia Marie Ferraro. <clears throat> Laura Ufracio de Olivara Forera. <clears throat> I think we'll receive greetings from Leah Fritz out in the audience. Mary P. Grady. Mary Grace Celeste Hankowski. Nancy Kathleen Kotnick. Teresa Michella. Kushner, Julia Elizabeth Cousy, Brittany Ann Lachance, Victoria Ann Lang. Anna Lapour, <clears throat> Juliette Rose Lodes, <clears throat> Julia Margaret Malcotti, <clears throat> Bryn. Elizabeth McClellan. Applause 
Nicole Angelina Malone. <laughs> Mona Lisa DeMonahan Mendoza. Jessica A. Meyer. Grace Elizabeth Olson. Julia Therese Pachulski. Maida Pennypacker. Amy Marie Paulus. <clears throat> Alexandria Nicole Perini. Mallory Reichelt. Isabella Tess Refrano. <laughs> Kayla Rose Rufo. Erin <laughs> Grace Suarez. <laughs> Megan Kelly. Shallow. <laughs> Madison Ann Shelley. <laughs> Gabriella Lee Sibelia. <laughs> Grace Louise Smith. Sarah Beth Stanton. <laughs> Tara Ann Thornton. <laughs> Michelle Udoji. <laughs> Sophia. Catherine Washington. <laughs> Keely Maraid Wise. <laughs> Elizabeth Fitzgerald Will. <laughs> Mary Wilson. Grace B. Winton. <laughs> Lauren Marie Walter. <laughs> I think that's everybody. Congratulations. We're, we're going off script for just a second. At commencement, we have a challenge. Every year, the Conway School of Nursing graduates give the loudest applause on receipt of their degree. So we're, we've got some tough competition from music and engineering. So I'm hoping that you're gonna do us proud and keep the tradition alive, and I can't wait to see you at commencement. Thank you, Dr. O'Brien. New Conway School of Nursing graduates, please stand to be recognized. Our 
A tradition of our pinning ceremony is to have a presentation that highlights your time here at Catholic. Will our faculty and guests on stage, I think you'll be able to see it, but if you just step down and see it on the screens, you will. Um, here comes the presentation.
Thank you, that was lovely. I wanna say a particular thank you to Dr. Alice Meyer, Shay McCormick, and Megan Podboy for all the additional work they did, especially on the slideshow. Thank you, that was lovely. So we also have had students who have participated in ROTC and will be defending our country. Will those students please stand to be recognized? So as we conclude our pin pinning ceremony, Professor Jane Taylor will lead us in reciting the modern version of the Nightingale Pledge. I would ask the class of 2021 to stand for the nurse's prayer that will follow. Class of 2021, please join me in reciting the Nightingale Pledge, which is in the back of the pinning program. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to live my life with integrity and to practice my profession faithfully. With dedication will I endeavor to uphold the ethical, scientific, and legal standards of my profession and to devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Mr. David, Want, uh, Doctor, sorry, David Want will now come to the podium for the closing prayer. I just have to say it's so nice to see you all in person. We're so proud of you. So let's pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, great healer. May your great strength and power flow through me. Lend skill to my hands and vision, judgment to my mind and compassion to my heart. Grant me the strength to minister to my patients in their hour of suffering and travail. And may I faithfully discharge my duties in deep humility, worthy of the trust and faith placed in me. Amen. Thank you, Jane and David. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate these nurse graduates and their tremendous achievements. We look forward to seeing you all at university commencement on Saturday. Congratulations to the class of 2021.